Hong Kong Star Ferry is one of the city's famous symbols. But as with all other forms of public transport here, the wearing of masks is now mandatory on board. On Monday, the measure was extended to indoor markets and other covered public places. And for the second time, 180,000 civil servants began working from home. Hong Kong's chief executive warns the new outbreak of COVID-19 may not be possible to contain. The situation is really critical and there is no sign that it's being brought under control. Until two weeks ago, Hong Kong had a relatively low infection rate. It achieved that without imposing strict containment measures, as happened across the border in mainland China. At one stage, the city was recording zero transmission rates. The mood's very different now. Why are we worried that we are really close to the collapse? Because uh, we got more elderly cases, more cases with uh, long-term illness, and also uh, we found uh, there are more cases when they arrived in uh, the uh, emergency room. They already got some uh, pneumonic uh, symptoms, uh, changes. They are quite ill. But since July the 6th, there have been almost 600 new cases. Experts have yet to trace the source of around 40% of those infections. Some medical experts say the new wave of infections points to a loophole in Hong Kong's quarantine arrangements. Arrangements which exempt workers like pilots, sailors and the drivers of lorries that bring essential food supplies into Hong Kong from the mainland every day. China's state-controlled media offer another view, saying recent protests against a new national security law helped to spread the virus. On Sunday, four local politicians were arrested on suspicion of taking part in an illegal assembly. They were also fined for breaching social distancing laws, laws that now make protests like these unlawful. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.